time for Three Stock Lunch, and today we're taking a look at some of the big movers. Starting with Honeywell, which is down after the company announced its purchase of air conditioner maker Carrier. I got to mention this as a Syracuse girl at heart. Uh, their security business it bought for nearly $5 billion. Here with our trades today is Adel Zaman. He's a partner at Wall Street Alliance Group. Adel, welcome to the program. Uh, would you be a buyer or a seller of Honeywell? We'd be a buyer of Honeywell uh, because, you know, this goes back to the broader conversation we've been having where the gains in the market have been concentrated in, a, in the Magnificent Seven. And now we feel that companies like Honeywell, which have been lagging the market, this is the opportunity as the breadth in the market is uh, improving for these companies to start to participate. And Honeywell is a great company. You know, they have a, a very strong, very well-diversified industrial company, a solid balance sheet, pays a great dividend. We feel that now the breadth in the market is going to improve, so laggards like Honeywell will start to do well. All right, up next, Paramount shares jumping 14% today after multiple reports that say Skydance and Redbird Capital are pursuing a takeover of National Amusements, which owns a majority of Paramount's voting shares. Adil, what's your trade on Paramount? This would be a, a resounding sell because you know, Paramount, the stock's up, uh, are, it's popping based on the sales uh, uh, potential. And then last week, it popped based on the collaboration with Apple. Uh, we, although both these scenarios, if they play out, it'll potentially be good for the company. But the stock uh, in the past one month is up more than 30 percent. Um, and we feel that uh, without these occurrences, as the business stands by itself, this is a very difficult business to make money in. Cable TV is a very tough business in this environment. How dare you? No, I, I do love the passion people have about Paramount one way or the other. What about RH, uh, formerly Restoration Hardware? The shares are down 13% now after a third quarter miss and narrowing their full year revenue. What's your trade? Another, I'm afraid, Kelly, another resounding sell because in this environment where the consumer is being uh, very careful about what they spend on, uh, they're not looking to buy expensive furniture right now, right? With, uh, with people like me who've locked in a low rate, rates being up, we are not looking to move our homes. And when you're not looking to move your house, you know, the, the need to buy expensive furniture is just not there. And we feel that Mr. Buffett, who uh, Berkshire sold out of the shares earlier uh, this year, was right on the money over here. So for us, we feel that, you know, this company is going to continue to suffer, I'm afraid. So right. we'd be a seller. Well, we don't work for RH, so we won't take it so personally. <laughs> Adil, thanks for joining us today and uh, for giving us those trades. We appreciate your time.